All right, let's try this again. Here we are, Facebook Live. All right, so um, back when I was uh, really early on in the music industry, I was in my early 20s, I was a, a runner, right? A production assistant, a gopher, a whipping boy, whatever you want to call it. But I got the opportunity to work for 3D, thir 30 days at a place called Center Staging in Burbank, California. And that's kind of where all the celebrities rehearsed. Michael Jackson's rehearsed there. We rehearsed there with Gaga, Fleetwood Mac. Everybody and their mothers rehearsed at Center Staging in Burbank. And I got to work for Ringo Starr and his all-star band. Yes, Ringo Starr of the Beatles. It was funny, I told my dad I'm working for the for Ringo of the Beatles. He, he thought that was my career achievement. I'm like, dad, I'm making like 100 bucks a day, okay? It's not a lot of money. But I wanna tell you, I learned some very important lessons from Peter Frampton and Ringo Starr. So first I'm gonna start with Peter Frampton. Uh, they had their all-star band there and they were doing like, you know, basically cover songs of all these legendary rock classics. And Peter Frampton had a song called Baby I Love Your Way. Well, I didn't know uh, that that was him. I was young. Uh, they had a reggae version by a band called Big Mountain. And anyway, so, they went into Baby I Love Your Way, and after the set, I told Peter Frampton, you know, hey, that's a great song, you know, uh, I've heard that reggae, uh, that reggae version. Uh, I didn't know you guys were covering that song, and I didn't know Peter Frampton had wrote it. So he came back the next day with a signed copy of the album Frampton Comes Alive, and he goes, here you go, I wrote that song, Baby I Love Your Way. And he just thought I was an ignorant kid, but what, do I what did I learn from Peter Frampton and Ringo Starr? Always be nice to the little people. Always be nice to the little people. I promise you, when you take time to be nice and kind and loving and compassionate to the people that are mopping the floor, that are pumping the gas, that are do the, the, the little people, okay, if you're just nice to everyone, it will come back around. I'll give you a couple examples. Uh, in the music business, uh, there was a guy out on tour with us with Lady Gaga. He was just an assistant. It was like his first tour. Fast forward seven years later, this guy is tour managing the biggest DJ in the world right now. Uh, Lady Gaga, her manager right now is a guy who was like an assistant at the record company seven years ago. I mean, this guy's managing the biggest pop star in the world. Always be nice to the little guy. All right, I miss you too, Brian. My big old hugs, fuzzy hugs and crazy weird facial expressions. I love you. And honestly, guys, like Ringo Starr taught me to always remember people's names. I'm horrible with names. And I had a nickname at that time. My, uh, my mentor said, there's too many Davids out there, Scooter or Sparky. I said, I said Scooter's kind of cool. And he's like, Sparky it is. So I went by Sparky. So every single day when we would show up at the studio, I'd be in there early getting everything set up and Ringo Starr would walk in. And he had a special needs child. A lot of people don't know that with uh, Barbara Bach. Uh, a lot of people don't know that about Ringo Starr. But he would walk in every day and I was the low kid on the totem pole. And he would say, hi Sparky, how are you today, mate? And I just, it, the beetle, a beetle asked me, took the time to, to ask me what I was doing. So it was really, really cool to be able to learn those things from those major stars. And I really, really appreciate um, you taking the time to take a look at this and just always remember people's name, remember the little people, and, uh, and check out uh, the, the things in your life that you can do to make people feel better on a daily basis. A compliment, a smile, um, acknowledging that they're there. Uh, when you're out to dinner with them or, or you're out in public and you have a meeting, put your phone down and give them eye-to-eye -eye contact. Just little helpful tips. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day.